Here are some of the most common backswing issues that I see. Hands outside, club inside. Cupped over the top. Losing posture. Reduced height through the swing. So with these common backswing issues that we see, how can we alleviate all of these problems with one simple technique? Let me show you. What you're gonna do is you are going to hinge your wrists only. You're not gonna move anything else. Hinge the wrists until the shaft of the club is parallel to the floor. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna match the leading edge of the club to your spine angle, which means that we square up the club face. And all we do from there is we concentrate on rotating and turn through and hit the ball. So we're gonna start by doing this really, really slowly. Hinge, check that club face, look at the ball, turn, hit. And once you've done that a few times, you can start to ramp up the speed a little bit more. So we're gonna set, check the club face, turn, rotate. So a great way to take this onto the golf course is we're going to mimic the same movement as a practice just before we swing that club. You'll see players like Justin Thomas and Ricky Fowler do this. And what they do is when they get themselves into this position, they will check their backswing first. That's all they're looking to do is to take that club away into that position and then their muscle memory kicks in from there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna practice this on the driving range. You're gonna hinge those wrists and you're gonna try and match that leading edge to your spine first go. If we can do that every time, then it means we can continue that swing and that rotation without having to stutter or stop. That's what we're looking for there. Let's do it now. Just keeps things really, really simple for you. So all you need to think about is rotating the body and hitting that golf ball.